In this session, we are going to discuss about sprinkler system basics. So now, if you look at our contents here in part 2, sprinkler system basics, we are going to discuss initially about the area density curves and host stream allowance as per NFPA 13 requirements. Then we are going to dive into theoretical water demand calculation for various hazard occupancies. Later on, the most important topic we are going to cover about the area adjustments based on the type of sprinkler system or the type of sprinklers for performing hydraulic calculations. Now let us try to discuss area density curves. As per NFPA 13, these curves are used in determining the design area of sprinkler operation and also the corresponding density based on occupancy hazards. These details are required to be entered in the Elite Fire software for performing hydraulic calculations. For instance, let's consider ordinary hazard group 1 occupancy according to this particular area density curve. The prescribed density for ordinary hazard group 1 is 0 0.15 GPM per square feet while the corresponding design area of sprinkler operation is 1500 square feet. This means that in areas classified under ordinary hazard group 1, we would require a sprinkler system capable of delivering 0 0.15 gallons of water per minute for every square foot covering an area of 1500 square feet. Similarly, we utilize these curves to find out the appropriate density for other hazard classifications. For example, for light hazard, the density will be 0 0.1510 GPM per square feet at 1500 square feet area of sprinkler operation. For ordinary hazard group 2, we are going to consider 0 0.2 GPM per square feet at exactly 1500 design area of sprinkler operation. For extra hazard group 1 and for extra hazard group 2, the density varies like for group 1 it is 0 0.3 GPM per square feet and for group 2 it is 0 0.4 GPM per square feet. However, the area of sprinkler operation if you see on y axis it is 2500 square feet. So in short when we are going to perform the hydraulic calculations we are going to consider the area of sprinkler operation and we will design the sprinklers in that particular area and we are going to run our calculations to find out the head requirements. So as per NFPA 13, host stream allowance has to be added to the sprinkler system demand. This particular table shows the total combined inside and outside hose allowance to be considered based on the hazard occupancy. For example, if you look at this particular table which has been extracted from NFPA 13, for light hazard occupancy, total combined inside and outside hose shall be 100 gallons per minute. This 100 GPM shall be added to the sprinkler system demand. 
For ordinary hazard, we have to add 250 GPM to the sprinkler system demand. For extra hazard occupancy, we need to add 500 GPM with the sprinkler system demand and all this data has to be entered in the calculations based on occupancy hazard classification.